So hello everyone. In this video, we will try to solve the correlation coefficient using Pearson R of two variables. In this case, our variables are statistics and accounting, the grades in statistics and the grades in accounting. Now, in correlation of coefficient, it doesn't matter which one is your independent and which one is your dependent variable if you are trying to solve the correlation. Because correlation just means the, the co-relationship between the two variables. So even if you assign the statistics as your independent or dependent, it doesn't matter. So because they both affect each other. Unlike in regression, which one, which is you have to really identify which is your independent which, and which is your dependent variable. In correlation, even if you mixed, even if you change which one is your dependent and independent, it will not matter. So the formula for correlation of coefficient using Pearson R is R equals the summation of dx multiplied by dy over the square root of the summation of d squared x multiplied by the d squared y, or their summation. Um, summation just means the sum of all of them. For example, dx dy, the sum of all the product of dx multiplied by dy. So if you wanted to use Excel or a pen and paper solution or formula, you really need to use a table. So I suggest that you use your table like this or you create your table just like this because this one is much organized. So we have the variable x as our statistics and the variable y is accounting. Now, so dx. dx is just the difference of the raw score minus the mean. So since we need the mean for dx, we have to find out the mean first. So here on the side, we have the mean of x. So to find the mean of x, you just have to type equals, then average, quantity, and then highlight all the data for the x. Then close parenthesis, then enter. Next, mean of y, same. Type in equals, then average, open parenthesis, then the value of the y variable. So close parenthesis, then enter. So these two are the mean of x and mean of y. Now let's proceed with dx, which is the difference of the raw score minus the mean of x. So to do that, we just have to subtract this one to our mean. So type in equals, then click the data for this one, then minus the mean of x, because we are now in x. Now, this one is very important that you put dollar sign on your mean because if you didn't put your dollar sign, it will copy the value of the preceding cell. So we use dollar sign so that it will be fixed. Dollar sign. Then you enter. Since we already have the formula here, we can just drag it down. Note that we didn't put dollar sign on the statistics because we don't want it to be fixed. We just want the mean of x to be fixed. Okay. Next, let's proceed with dy, which is the difference of the raw score of y minus the mean of y. So equals, and then click the raw score, which is this one, minus the mean of y. So again, you just have to put dollar sign because we have to make it fixed our mean of y, then enter. So since we already have formula for this one, you can just drag it down. Now, if you're using pen and paper to solve the Pearson correlation, you can just manually solve this one, the dx as raw score minus the mean. So you will see that they will have the same answer. So let's try subtracting it using its value. So I will delete this so that you can see the value will be the same. So we have 83 equals 83 minus 70.333, which is the value of the mean of. So you will notice that they will have the same answer. Although there's a difference in decimal point at that fourth decimal number, it will not matter a lot because 
because if you were to go here and find all the decimal number here, you will see that there's a lot. there. So, but it doesn't matter as long as you use at least four decimal places. So now let's proceed with d squared x. So d squared x just means the difference of x and then you just have to multiply it by themselves or their own value. So in x we just have to type in equals and then click the value of the dx then multiply it by itself. Click it again. Enter. Or you can also do this. So let's delete this one. 160.444. We can also do this. Equals, then click the value of the X. Use the, the triangular symbol on number 6 on your keyboard, which is also known as the caret. Then type 2. Or this means squared. Then you'll see that they just have the same answer. Then we just have to drag this one because we already have the formula for that cell. So what will happen if there's a lot of numbers or there's a lot of decimal places, the number sign will appear. This means that the decimal places are a lot and the space for our table is not that big. So if you arrange it, you will see that there's a lot. It's repeating numbers. So to solve this problem, you just have to click this one. This one increase the decimal. This one decrease the decimal. So we want to decrease it because that's a lot. Put it into four decimal places there. So same with this squared y. Click the value of dy multiplied by itself. Or, so we have 0 0.3735. Or you can just do the caret symbol, which is this one equals. Then click the value of dy click the current symbol, and then 2 or squared. So they will have the same answer. Then you can just drag this down because they will have the same formula. Again, it, it appears again, which means we have to decrease the symbol. It's either you decrease the symbol or you increase the size of your cell. So, But in our case, we want to decrease the symbol. I want four decimal places. So now what is dx dy? dx dy is just the product of dx multiplied by dy. So we have equals, then dx, asterisk sign, which is the multiply symbol for Excel, and then click dy, then enter. So that's the formula for that one. Then you can just drag it down because we already have the formula. Now, if we were to go back to the formula of the Pearson R, we have the summation of dx dy and we have the square root of the summation of d squared x and the summation of d squared y. So we don't have the value for that yet. So this is the d squared x, this is the d squared y, dx, this is the dx dy. So we wanted to find the summation, which is just the uh, sum of the d squared x, sum of the d squared y, and sum of the dx dy. So to do that, we just have to click in. So we have a part here, a portion here, so that we can solve it easily. So we have type in equal. Then summation is sum. And then open parentheses, this is then highlight the values of the d squared x. Then close parentheses, then enter. So same with d squared y and dx dy. But since we already have the formula sum here, we can just drag it there after the last. And again, if you see this number sign, you just have to increase the value of your, increase the size of your cell or decrease the number of decimal numbers. Now we can already proceed with finding the Pearson R. To do that, type in equals. If we were to go back to our formula, we have the summation of dx dy over the square root of the summation of d squared x multiplied by the summation of d squared y. So type in equals and then click the value of this one because this is the summation of dx dy over square root. Now, how are we going to use square root? So in Excel, we can just use sqrt and then open parentheses. And then we have the square root of the summation of dx 
d squared x and the summation of d squared y. So this is the value of the summation of d squared x. So we just have to click this one. And then type in the asterisk, which is the symbol for multiplication. And then click the value for d squared y because that is the summation. And then close parentheses and then enter. So our value is 0 0.825, etc. So the practice is, in X in Pearson, the practice is we have two decimal places only. So let's put it into two decimal places in Pearson. So in Pearson, we have, we have negligible correlation. Negligible correlation is 0 0.00. .00 to 0 0.30, that is negligible correlation. We have 0 0.31 to 0 0.50, which is low, positive, or negative correlation, depending on the sign. And this one, we have positive. And 0 0.51 to 0 0.70, we have moderate correlation, moderate positive or moderate negative. And we have 0 0.71 to 0 0.90, we have high, correla high correlation, high positive, high negative. And 0 0.91 to 1.0, we have the very high negative, very high positive correlation. In this case, we are in 0 0.83. So this one is high correlation. This belongs to high correlation. Now, so if should the value be negative 0 0.83, this will be high negative. So let's type in high positive correlation. High positive because the value is positive. So should it be negative 0 0.83, the value will be high negative correlation. So this means that statistics affects the grades in accounting in a high positive relationship and also vice versa. So accounting grades affects the grades of statistics in a high positive relationship or correlation. So that's all in using table. But how are we going to verify our answer if it is correct? Actually, in Excel, we have the Corel and Pearson function. To verify our answer, we just have to type in equals and then Pearson. Then open parenthesis, then array one is the value of your independent variable. Again, it doesn't matter which one is your independent or dependent. And then, comma. Then, RA2 is the other one. Then, close parenthesis, then enter. So, you will see that the answer is just the same. So, let's re reduce it to two decimal places. So, 0 0.83. They are just the same. Now, we use the table so that you can also utilize Pearson R manually using pen and paper. But if you were to use Excel and you don't have to use the and the teachers or the professor doesn't require you to show your table. You just have to type in the function Pearson or the function Corel. So that's it. I hope you learn in this uh, lesson. See you again next time.